My favourite word in Mirawong is Juinian and that means crocodile. My favourite Mirawong word is Gai Gai which means grandma. My favourite word in Mirawong is Vajoe Jap. It means swimming. The land is Mirong land, and it's where the language come from, you know. There's language all around you. Everything we see has language. Everything that moves has language. All the food source and waters, rivers, they, they all have names. And that's how we can describe what it is, when it's something that a lot of people can't even describe today in English, you know. In modern Australia, it's difficult for any minority language to survive. Wherever you have a language that is very dominant, uh, smaller languages will struggle. First person who plays, Walat Juija, Giliji Bin. People always assume that language needs to start in the home, but what is happening now is these kids, they learn language at school or in kindergarten, and they bring words back home that their parents didn't know. Modern things come, we just have to give that name in Miro, like when you know, the first car arrived in our country, Miro people gave it a name, Kuduri, and that actually come from the sound that it may go, you know. There is research that says indigenous people learning their ancestral language are more likely to be successful in life, which means they are more likely to get a job, they're more likely to attend school. They're also less likely to struggle with substance abuse, they're less likely to commit serious crimes. Transferring language to these kids will help them live a better life. Language means identity, and where people identify with something that belongs to them, they grow stronger. My grandfather and mother told me, don't throw your language away. Keep speaking up for it. I just hope our kids grow up and speak it, you know. I feel happy and I say, good on you, speaking very own language, like me. <laughs>